Alright, what is going on guys? Lone here, and in today's video, we're going to be starting a, a new series, and this is going to be Torchlight 2 in case you guys haven't guessed it already. We have 10 mods active. Uh, you can only have 10 mods active at a time. You cannot have more than that. Uh, so there's quite a few things in here, and all the mods will be in the description below so you guys can check those out. Uh, but we have plenty of classes to choose from here. Um, so let's go ahead right through the line and kind of like read over this. So first we have the Ember Mage, um, a variety of elemental spells, so Berserker here is brutal and swift. Berserkers call upon powerful beast magic to augment their deadly combat skills. Wow, she's very angry. The Dread Pirates are free to master seal gunpowder and dark magic. They have left the seven seas in search of treasure. The Engineer, equipped with... Ember-powered weapons and armor. Engineers keep the frontier in working order. Grandmaster. Martial arts, basically. Kensei. Two-handed sword. Lives her life in simple pursuit of mastery. Alright, so warrior monk. Kind of like from D3. Uh, master of unarmed combat. So he's slapping people up. Necromancer. Dealing death rages to dead and long forgotten art of bone dancing. Okay. Dance with the bones if we want to. A Nethermancer. Uh, person who managed to retain the sanity, even though. Blah, 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 blah. Doesn't really tell you much there. The Ninja. Trained with. Whoa. Trains with secluded villagers in three separate combat styles Ninjutsu, Genjutsu, and Taijutsu. And then we got the Paladin here. Uh, <laughs> the Paladin is in its alpha stages right now and is a work in progress. Well, if you can't tell it's modded, I don't know how. You can. We got a Ranger. Up with nature, using beasts and foliage to his advantage. Dual blades, hand crossbows with its power of the storm. So, right now it's between the ranger and the necromancer, quite honestly. Ronin, uh, soldier throws gates for choice. Blah, shadow mancer. Shadow mancer is, was an ember mage until fate told him the power of darkness, and the mage now studies a form of new power. Outlander, arcane arts, an ancient packs, wields guns, and magic with equal skill. Warlocks, another mage class, another paladin class here. Well, we crashed the game. We uh, we crashed it right there. Uh, so what was the class? It was this one here. It's an ember. So I don't know if clicking this is going to crash it or not. We'll find out. Dragon princess. And then the Monster Hunter. Our Elite Pack Travelers, World of Hunger, Thank you, Puff. No, okay, so... For me, it's between the Ranger... Um, where'd the Necromancer go? The Necromancer... Or the Ninja. Oh man, I think we might do the Necromancer. I'm not sure though. I'm not too versed in Necromancy, quite honestly. We'll do a male. We have 21 different faces to choose from. Let's go ahead and choose the one right here. That guy looks pretty, pretty fantastic. Alright, so we're changing our hair. Too bad you can't rotate the character around. That kind of goes along with it. Keep that hair color. We don't want it to be gray. We want it to be white. That's really all we got, really? Right. There's that. Let's go ahead and call our character alone. We'll see how far we go without this thing crashing. Uh, okay, so here, this is another part of the uh, the whole mod thing. We got more pets now. There's a Nobby. We can actually have human pets now, too. We've got a fucking uh, alpaca. Avatar. This little guy, we've got a basilisk. Look at these things, bats. Big bad booty, that thing's cool. I love the witch doctor. I might actually use that. I might actually use that. Uh, Companion Cube. <laughs> Borderlands reference there. 
the fuck is this? Shambler, that guy looks pretty creepy. I'm not sure if any of these have any special abilities. We can actually have a dragon. Look at this guy, Dragon Spirit Man. So again, all the mods will be in the description below for you guys to kind of like go through and choose. There's only 10 of them active. I have more downloaded, but I chose the, the 10 that I thought would be most fun. Most visually impactive, honestly. Did I say Treasure Goblin? Nice. Which doll? A lot of all witch doctor references in here, which is pretty cool. Spirit, two different skeletons. I'm not even gonna bother clicking on those. War beasts. Some of these are World of Warcraft things too, like zombie. We got a lich. All right, so it's between the treasure goblin, the witch doll, and the big bad voodoo. Where's the big bad voodoo? There's big bad. Voodoo. All right, there's that guy. The witch doll. It's pretty, pretty fucking cool. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go with the big bad voodoo. I think big bad voodoo for sure. Let's call him fetish just for the hell of it. Uh, we'll play normal. Uh, we'll do single player. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Sweet baby Jesus, please don't crash. Alright, so we got... Welcome to Virtual Light 2, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. Okay, so... We got a camera view mod. We were able to go out further than, than normal. We got an improved HUD here. We got some new axe. A lot of new weapons. Um, we got uh, unique slots here for rings and amulets and stuff, weapon slots, which is good. Here's our skills. We are a necromancer, so this is gonna be interesting. So we gotta do I all this. this is as far as I can go. This main shit. You should here. carry on to the Asterian Enclave. Yeah, go to the Asterian Enclave. I will. I will in fact I kinda wanna be up close. A little more you just get here? Yeah, I just got here. Fortunately one was amazing. You just get here? Played that on the uh, on the Xbox 360. Oh, we actually got a hit shit now. Okay. Those are like don't actually go through and hit the other uh, other enemies. Auto loot seems to be turned on, so that's good. I know we got a quest up there. Why is it only one? Bug the shit out of me. Oh no, I hit more than one. Just like really inaccurate right now. So let's go up here and uh, check out this quest. If we can. I haven't played through Torchlight 2 all the way. I've played played a little bit of it. I set off a trap. I send respect. Okay guys, so here we are actually in game with the Necromancer here. Um, as you can see we have an overall better UI here. We have ring and amulet slots here. We have better item affixes. We have a better stat menu here as well. A better skill menu here. I think we're going to be going with the undeath skills tree simply because it fits my style a little more. Either that or the bone dancing. This one is uh... this one reminds me of Diablo 2 Necromancer skill tree here. Uh, this one you can have pets. Um, which is pretty cool. Same with this one. You can have like skeleton horrors and zombie horrors and stuff like that. But this one here seems pretty powerful. We call for spectral dragons, reanimate co corpses. Uh, you can have death dolls following you around. Soul shadow. Like it just seems pretty cool. We do have a graphical, or a revamped graphical uh, mod thrown into here. So the game should look a lot better. Should. I'm not sure how I'm going to play this game. How often I'm going to play this game. Um, it's more than likely going to be scattered throughout my channel. Let me know if you want this to be a, an ongoing thing. If there's any Torchlight 2 fans out there. Uh, be Torchlight 1 on the Xbox. 
played a little bit of Torchlight too, but never, never beat it. Never really got too far into it. And I was in my Steam library, and I saw, you know, I'm gonna fucking do this. And then I noticed that Steam Workshop had quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of mods there, some cool stuff that I wanted to try out and kind of show off and kind of experiment with. See, see how much fun I can actually have with this. A lot of the mods that I have in here actually bring forth some Torchlight 1 aspects, which I'm really excited about. Stuff like pets and rifles and things like that I took out of Torchlight 2 for whatever reason. That is a thing. So we might actually have to, to use our our skill points just to stay like, on top of the game here. Even though we do have uh, increased loot drops from one of the mods. Um, increased loot drops and uh, and the different tiers of it too. Like we're gonna be getting some green, and some, some legendary items a lot quicker than the normal high end items. There's a lot more monsters than I remember. Well, we got a some sort of boss now. I hate that I have to be this close to use that, that rifle though. Well, it is a shotgun, I guess, so. Kinda makes sense. Come on, big bad voodoo, that do something. Luckily, this guy's like slow. My cast rate sucks with this. I'm pretty sure it's dependent on the uh, attack speed of the weapon. Oh yeah, it's hard too. Shit. Alright, look at that. Another green item here. Unidentified something or another. Let's go ahead and look at it. What was that? Fiery stock crossbow. 61 damage per second. This is a lot better than what I'm currently wearing. Uh, we can wear these now. Uh, 35 damage per second, no, no, 30, 30, 30, 41, no, no, 1. Holy shit! Corey's level 23, strength 44. This one looks pretty cool. That's it for now. Let's see what uh, this crossbow actually can do for us. Another one? What the fuck? Where's my big... My pet's like not doing shit. Taking him down a lot quicker with this crossbow. Orleon the Revealed. So we got a, war a vital staff off of him, a couple of health potions, which are always nice because I tend to die quick, it seems. We are playing on normal difficulty. I was having a bit of issues recording this at first, didn't realize my hard drive was full. So I decided to pop a new one in. And go with it. That's what I need to invest in. I need to invest in more hard drives. I currently have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six hard drive slots that I can Save use up. Travels. Greetings. Three at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I'm talking. Safe travels. The tranquil sensor would put them to rest again. If only I had not dropped very shit. You can't find it, so we gotta find. Yes. This thing for this dude. Let's go down here. Oh, we can't go down there yet. So like I said, I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing. I don't know. I, I, I like games like this. Um, I thought about going back to do some more Diablo 3 and stuff like that, but I was, I'm really burnt out with that game. And uh, to be quite honest, Torchlight 2 is really the only other one um, that I'm willing to play that is similar in nature. Locked golden chest. We need some keys. We need some keys. What if that sensor's in there? That would suck. But if there's any other games out there that are similar to Diablo that I'm not aware of, let me know in the comments. 
mean, hack and slash type type dungeon crawling style games. We've got the Skyrim series that I, I recently started up again too, which I'm really excited about. It is a trap. This crossbow is a little lackluster, to be quite honest. AOE damage though on this. Hell yeah, baby! We also have an endless dungeon mod put in here, and a mod called Chunky. And what Chunky does is it actually takes the environment that you're in and makes it a hell of a lot bigger. Um, so this, <laughs> as it takes whatever map it is and just expands the fuck out of it. So there's gonna be a lot of uh, a lot of grinding, a lot of uh, looting, and things like that to uh, get us to the best potential we possibly can at the current level that we're at in the current <laughs> environment that we're in. Um, rather than having to go back and repeatedly do levels over and over and over again, or zones over and over again to uh, level up, this will do that for us. Oh, we got a special dude here, he's fucking quick too. An Alkalite. I can't even read his name, he's so quick. I don't want to get hit. Arcanon. How hard is he hit? And Heavy sword, nice. Achievement unlocked. Champ Battler. Holy shit. Let's put this bad boy on there. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Right click to equip that thing. Very fast attack damage. Hmm. I'm gonna test out this big ass sword, though. Look at this thing, guys. It's huge. One shot. Boom, one shot. Oh, I lied. It's not one shot. This might not be what we want to use here, I don't know. I'm a necromancer, like I shouldn't be getting up right in the, right in the thing. A golden key. Does my golden key work for that chest, I wonder? Yeah, I like I don't like being right up in here with this. Let's go ahead and complete this thing. Oh wait, fuck! No, bring me back! Bring me back! I don't want to go in here yet. Was unprepared for it. It's probably gonna fucking crash. Probably already has crashed. No? Let's go back, because I wanted to see if that, that key would actually work on that chest. Plus we gotta go back up and talk to the people. I think we found what, what he was looking for. I like how you can move the minimap all around wherever you pretty much want. How do I open up, uh... How do I open up the map, like... Size though. I don't know, I'll figure that out later. There's a sensor. Oh yeah, boys. Aggression. Alright. Oh, well, fuck. Talk to you in a second. Fuck these guys. Give me that shit. Uh, you need help with this. I need your help. Yeah, I'll accept it. You have a new quest. You have a new quest. Blah, 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 blah. Where was that dude at, though? How do I see my uh, video details? Yeah, everything, whatever. Controls. Toggle map center, center, center map. Hold right. I don't know. Should be paying more attention, I guess. Let's go see if we can unlock this chest. Here's a tip. Safe travels. Four physical damage. Mana recovery. A plus three mana. Um, I'm gonna go with this one. Fuck. We got the golden key, so that's gonna open up the golden chest. I have to go around. 
We'll see what's in here and then we'll call it an episode. A mysterious mace. A mysterious mace. This thing is probably going to be OP as fuck. Uh, so where we are right now is place that. Um, one eyes with electrical. No, we're good on that. I'll just the tag for my pet. Yeah, let's put the thing up on there. Shield buckler. No reason two hander can't do that. I think we're all set here. So if you enjoyed the video, guys, hit the like button below. Subscribe if you haven't. Stay tuned for some more Torchlight 2, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.